and it's time to connect with our angels again to bring their guidance and their love for this week, the week of the 6th through the 12th of August 2018. Welcome to my channel, beautiful soul. My name is Maria. It's a pleasure to have you here with me today. If this is your first time here, just quickly remember to go to the subscribe button below, click on the bell right next to it, so you will get notifications whenever I post a new video in my channel. And today, for our guidance, I'm gonna be using the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards. This deck is by Doreen Virtue, and we have 44 cards in this deck. It's very clear messages, very easy to use, straightforward. So let's see what our angels are. It's already full of energy. What our angels are preparing for us for this week. Remember we have on Saturday on the 11th, we're gonna have the new moon. There's a lot of manifestation coming for August, a lot of energy being thrown to us to make us take action, to help us to actually move forward. So let's see what the angels are bringing for us for this week, for the beginning, still the beginning of the month, moving towards the middle of the month. And we are already past the middle of the year. We're moving forward, going on. So let's see what the angels are giving us as guidance for this week. What is the energy for this week for all us, all of us? So I'm gonna to continue to shuffle until, yes, the card comes out. So we got clear yourself. Wonderful way to begin the week. And it says, ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Wonderful way, like I told you, wonderful way to begin the week is by clearing your energy, clearing yourself. Remember, I made a video before talking about absorbing energy from others, absorbing energy from people, from situations, from objects, anything you touch, everything is energy. So it's very easy for us because we are also energy. It's very easy for us to be absorbing energy from everywhere positive ones and negative ones. So it's important to be constantly remembering to clear your energy, release things. It's already, it's already good enough to be carrying our own energy, our own negativity. So don't carry things that are not yours. Don't carry negative energies, negative emotions and feelings from people. They have their own, you have your own, so it's important to constantly remember to clear yourself, release these toxic energies, let go, take the opportunity in the beginning of every day, it's not only in the beginning of the week, but in the beginning of every day, to clear your energy, prepare yourself for the day. In the end of the day, remember, get home, clear yourself, so you can have a good night. Okay, remember, my dear, it's very important. If they are bringing this up, it means that there is a lot of energy to be cleared. There is a lot of negativity. There is a lot of doubts, a lot of fears, a lot of things that are sometimes are not even yours. Stress, anxiety, let it go. Begin your week stepping forward. Begin your week in the light, feeling lighter, feeling happier, feeling more positive. So remember to clear. I will leave the link in the description below for you to check how to clear your energy, how to clear the energy of your home as well. You can watch the video and you can learn, you can understand a little bit better about how the negative energy can affect us because this is very, very often. If you feel suddenly extremely exhausted, extremely tired, you can't sleep, insomnia, and all of this, this can be signs that you are absorbing a lot of energy from other people, from their situations, from their emotions. It's normal, this happened to all of us, but we have to be conscious, we have to remember that we need to be clearing. We, we are responsible for ourselves. So remember to begin your week clearing your energy. Do that now, do that today. Take two minutes and clear yourself. Shield yourself as well. You can invite Archangel Michael to work with you to clear and to protect you. Okay, so you can begin your week in this rhythm of being positive of making things happen, taking action, being active. Okay, my dear, remember, if they're bringing this up, it means it is very necessary to begin this week in the light, feeling more 
positive so you can walk throughout the week in a more alignment in alignment with yourself because when we absorb energy we get out of alignment so remember to clear okay let go of toxic situations toxic feelings toxic people release clear this this doesn't belong to you this is not yours so let it go okay be conscious about your energy it's so important to be taking care of your own energy okay my dear deal good let's move on let's take the cards now for wednesday and thursday let's see what they come up with what are their message i'll continue to shuffle as always till the card comes up we got three. <laughs> oh, geez so our guy this is gonna be long today stay with me don't go anywhere let's move on we got crown chakra wonderful pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers my dear understand whenever you ask something for your angels for divine energy for your masters Whenever you ask something, whenever you want to understand something, remember that the answer is not going to show up right in front of you. You're not going to open a book and a pen is going to write it by itself and give you the answer. Remember, my dear, any inspiration you receive, dreams, words that you overhear someone speaking, things that you read, suddenly you're scrolling down on your Facebook and suddenly there is a message that calls your attention. This is the answer. This is the way that the divine speaks with you. This is the way that the angels speak with, with us. It is through these subtle messages. They cannot appear in front of you and tell you what you need to do and give you the answer to your prayers. Because otherwise you feel scared. Remember, they are love. They're not here to scare us. They're not here to bring any kind of feelings that is not from love so remember pay attention don't say that the angels or god is not answering your prayers feel the inspirations be open to receive the guidance from within from your intuition this is the way they communicate this is the way they will answer to your prayers that you they will help you to move where wherever you want to go Pay close attention. All this information comes through the crown chakra. So be open to receive. The information comes all the way down to your heart. That's where this is all processed. So do not block your inspirations. Do not block your intuition. Follow this because this card is coming to tell you. Focus in the card. This card is telling you that your prayers are, are being answered through your own guidance. Okay, my dear move on another you see it's just what i was talking about third eye chakra connected let's see what they say it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms such as angels auras and visions my dear again you're receiving the information through the crown the, the information comes down to your third eye and then you start to process, you start to visualize it. Then the energy comes from the heart and that's where you will lis listen to your intuition. That's where you will give attention to your intuition. But remember the third eye, the visualization, the, the way you look at things, the way you see people, this is, this is the answer prayer. This is where changes start to begin this is where changes start to change this is where things start to move on it's when you start to see in people you start to see in situations love you start to understand that everyone is created by the same energy that created yourself so if someone if you're judging someone if you're looking at someone with eyes that are not coming from love understand that this person even though that person is going through something hard to something dark to something difficult that person always come from divine energy from the same source that created yourself so it's important to understand this receive your information receive your guidance your answered prayers and process this in a way that you will start to look at things differently you will start to see the divine to see your angels in 
everyday life on, on everybody around you okay and also what they're telling me now is to remind you about the importance of working on your third eye to start visualizing um, spiritual communication and anything you want for your life okay if you want to see angels if you want to communicate with them if you want to connect with them remember to work within yourself work within your energy within your third eye you have to be prepared you have to connect with yourself in words align your energy okay i have people coming to my sessions whenever i work specifically with the third eye chakra you know it's very uh interesting because those are the sessions that i have more people coming and what happens is that sometimes people come to a third eye uh, healing to a third eye opening and they are not ready they are they don't work with the rest of their energy their their hearts are, are closed their crown chakra is closed so understand there don't go like crazy trying to open your third eye because you think you start to see spirits and you will start to see angels and you will start to see everything in the spiritual world understand you need to be prepared understand that this is a process it it takes time for alignment you have to be aligned to communicate you have to be aligned to to start to see because you are already seeing it you are already receiving information but you can see it you can you can see it you can't feel it because there are blockages and you need to work you are a whole being it's not only about one chakra that is gonna make you suddenly change my dear you have to understand it's a whole system it's a whole energy body you need to be in alignment in every area of your life for you to start the process of spiritual communication of angelic communication of any kind of spiritual uh, work and a third eye opening and all this understand if you can't if you don't you can never say don't say that you don't have intuition don't say that you don't receive messages you receive it constantly but you're just not trusting you're not seeing it properly because there are things that need to be aligned for you to perceive that it's already there so pay attention to the like i told you that's why they're giving us this that's why they're talking about the crown chakra also the information comes through and it's in the little details that you will start to pay attention and then you will start to open up your third eye even more so pay attention to your intuition pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the little messages that come through on your facebook on your instagram on your whatsapp pay attention to emails pay attention to books that suddenly call your attention people talking around you people inviting you to go to a session these are all forms of communication and the more you start to give attention the more you start to invite yourself in this kind of energy the more your third eye is going to be open so understand my dear this is not from night today it's a process you're here to learn you're here to keep growing to keep opening up to keep rebuilding yourself to keep bringing yourself back to love and when you are in the alignment then everything becomes very natural your intuition you will know when when it's your angels speaking you will know when it's your masters speaking your spirit guides or any kind of information coming from divine energy so understands this okay they are talking about this exactly because of what i'm, I'm telling you some people want to suddenly work and open the th their third eye there is a great possibility that this can happen that you can open your third eye but often what happens is 
that it's extremely overwhelming because you you don't understand what is happening there is a massive shift happening within you you are inviting a, a, a wave of energy coming through and this is gonna happen because you have free will you're asking for it and then it becomes extremely overwhelming then it becomes you can be you feel scared you don't want it anymore you don't know how to proceed because you were not prepared you did not it, it it was not a process you did this suddenly so you have to understand my dear it's a process start working today on on your spirituality on being love on inviting divine love within yourself on seeing love in people in situations in meditating meditation is the best key to everything when you meditate you will start to be prepared and naturally you will start to see things you will start to receive messages okay understand do not force something to happen to you if you are not actually doing it step by step because it will be very overwhelming and you might even come out of your path because you got scared okay my dear understand it's so important now let's see the next card oh, <laughs> it's exactly what i'm talking about shield yourself protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon, a cocoon of healing light surrounding you my dear another thing extremely important talking about spirituality talking about spiritual communication about seeing things about hearing things about connecting with your angels it's important to clear your energy and it's important to shield your energy just like i told you before if you are not shield well shield before you start any kind of spiritual work you will be open and you will be inviting energies that do not belong to your own families to your soul to your family your soul's family okay so it is easier for you to be connecting and to be absorbing energy that is not positive that is not supposed to be close to you if you're not shielded enough if you're not cleared enough if you're not doing this whole spiritual awakening slowly giving yourself time allowing yourself to process the information every little information you receive every little thing that you learn something new that you learned about yourself about spirituality about angels you have to give yourself time to understand that to leave that information that you receive to leave that new learning okay my dear so remember sorry there's something in my eye remember that it is important to be very well protected and to be very aware of what you are doing before you start inviting spirits or anything to your life okay you have to be taking good care of yourself your soul your spirit your energy needs to be strong enough need to be prepared because otherwise like i told you you will get overwhelmed you will be falling off of your path okay and then it's harder to return okay my dear and i know people that even never returned they even never came back never came back to this path of spirituality of divine love because there was just too much and they couldn't they couldn't handle okay i'm not saying this to scare you because it's nothing like this it's all about love it's all about uh, light okay this is what we are why we are here for is to return to love okay but we are built okay our life is built in a way that we are meant to be living in fear we're meant to be living scared we're meant to be struggling and this is not true so that's why if you invite too much energy too much light the light will come to heal you deeply will come to release everything that is within everything and sometimes we are not prepared to release everything at once it's a process 
okay remember this they're talking about this very very strongly for this week so pay close attention to what you're doing okay do it with responsibility look for people that are responsible in their work that you know and you trust that they are doing things properly that they are good people that they are doing it from love they are helping you from love okay be careful not to go for anyone that you don't even know that you don't even trust okay go slow with yourself and you will see that especially in the beginning if you go slow you will see that in time it's going to speed up in time naturally things are going to start to unfold okay let me move forward because otherwise i keep talking about this topic until tomorrow <laughs> let's see oh it's here it's here let's see what's for weekend i love this perfect for the weekend singing and dancing and it says express yourself and awaken oh you see awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement wonderful another tip from the angels if you're looking to awaken your spirituality if you're looking to open up your awareness take the weekend to dance to move your body to sing to let go release okay when we move our bodies we're literally moving our chakras and moving our energy and making things flow okay it's so important to be creative to be inviting art to our life by dancing by singing sing in the shower okay take some time during the week and sing in the shower nobody will know nobody will will say anything just yesterday i heard i heard this guy saying that it's amazing how in the shower all of us sing so perfectly <laughs> and nobody cares because nobody's even listening so you know sing perfectly you know become the celine dion and you know all this you know what beautiful voices we have in this world be, bring this energy to yourself sing along be happy sing while you drive dance okay move your body go for yoga or anything even dancing literally dancing play some music that you like but invite this happy energy to yourself because like i told you in this way you're moving your body literally you're moving your energy it, it helps so much to unblock uh, anything that is blocking your uh, chakra system your energy by moving that's why yoga is so powerful so you be moving literally when you dance when you move you'll be moving and it it helps to release and it helps to awaken your psychic abilities because you are moving you are in this state of happiness and you are allowing things to come out okay so take the opportunity the weekend is the perfect timing there is no work so take the opportunity on the weekend to do something like this okay and also let me know let me know what you're gonna do to to open up this side of yourself this artistic side of yourself that we all have okay so just allow yourself to do it allow yourself to be in this kind of energy and you will see how wonderful it feels it's gonna prepare you very well for next week okay my dear wonderful so this was our angel guidance for this week from the 6th through the 12th thank you so much for joining me thank you for being here in my channel for being part of my beautiful souls family i'm so grateful to have you here if you have any questions if you would like to book a private angel guidance with me if you like to book a private healing distance healing with me you're more than welcome you just need to send me an email or go to my website the link for all of this will be in the description i'll talk to you soon again i wish you a wonderful week blessed with your angels in peace in love in light and i'll talk to you soon okay take good care of yourself my dear namaste